Hey everybody, this is uh, Jeffrey Jansen. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. I believe today is the 19th, um, August 19th, 2018. And we are over here with uh, Gracie Ann. She is on um, the horse today. And she is riding around. She just literally just gave me a freaking heart attack. <laughs> but you know what? She's a lot stronger than me. I'm that dad that stands behind like, I want to help. So, anyway, hope everybody's having a great day today. Uh, we have some other horses in here, as you can see. Well, she's around here somewhere. There she is. Hey, Melissa, how are you doing? So, anyway, remember this. Today's Sunday. Don't be one of those Sunday Christians that basically on Sunday is the only day out of the year that it's like, oh, you get forgiven. You know, every day, you know be a good person and just not on Sunday it's like every day Sunday is just a good day that nobody works that it's easy to go spend time with friends and family eat together pray together play together stuff like that so anyway I'm gonna switch over to Gracie now and we'll talk a little bit as we're watching Gracie all right now that's the horse that Gracie's on we're over here at Porsche Creek Stables Hey Chris, Melissa, how are you doing? Chris, how are you doing? And okay, so uh, she's learning on a different horse today, and the horse has been doing really good for her, but it did break off into <laughs> an almost all-out sprint there a few minutes ago. Whatever, I don't know. The horse had a mind of its own there for a little bit. But Gracie handled it like a pro, and she's doing an outstanding job. I'm very proud of her. I love her to death. She's my little girl. Shay does a great job with him. I got Mojo over here next to me because he wanted to bug him earlier. So, Anyway, so I'll just let you guys watch here for a little bit. We're doing some barrel stuff right now, as you can see. I'd like to start working a little bit with the Quincy Saddle Club and several of the groups over at the Adams County Fairgrounds that um, uh, Saddle Club and stuff like that. Start working with the horses and everything else. I'd like them to also start working with the Marine Corps League a little bit, which are volunteering their times. So we'll see what comes up in the next, I don't know, six months to a year and see where we get with that. So, we're going to see what Gracie's got going on here. There she goes. Now, one of my favorite things I love doing is I love to do these events. And I love having time with my daughter. So, you know, I know a lot of people, they work and stuff, or they have a hard time. But, you know, it's always told if you make the time, you know... Um, I do know that Legal Shield allows me to do that um, by being able to work for myself but also help people. But on the other hand, you know, she always wears a Legal Shield shirt because she loves the color purple. Oh, there goes the horse again. Getting That horse has a mind of its own today. Making me nervous as a dad. Um... But that's what it is, you know. As parents, we are always trying to protect our kids. So, anyway. Good job controlling her. There she goes. Slow and steady at first, bud. Hi, buddy. Look now, look. Don't look down, look in front of you. There you go. Hey dude. Dad is gonna be here in a minute. And probably her brother who will wanna play on the other side. Look at me, look at me now. Now, slow and straight. There you go. Yep, see how she wanted to zag? Great to me. There you go. Good job. Good job. That was 
go? We were going to. I think a few people went up. They had it in the paper, so. They, they had all the events of the rodeo. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where you watch the, you know, the one at the fair is just the bull. But everything else is all day adventure. So it's fair. We'll let her walk for a second and then we'll try it again, huh? Well, I don't know if it's a set. Whoever it was, they were supposed to come over to the Marine Corps meeting because they wanted to get more people over at some of the horse shows and everything else, and they wanted help. And they, so I brought them all, and I, we told them to come to our Monday meeting. Nobody showed up. The Marine Corps League was all ready to help them, you know, offer our services, our time, and everything, and huh. nobody showed up to it. Did you tell the, cut? the people that were doing the show at the fair. Those same people are doing it all three days. They're in charge of everywhere from the Saddle Club to the... Um, well, the Saddle Club's in charge of the gates. Well, I'm talking about them, but the people that were in the little office area, because I talked to all of them. Nobody in that office is part of the Saddle Club? No, 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 no. They're in charge of doing, like, different shows and stuff that they want. Oh, you're talking about the fairground people? Yeah. Oh, I'm like, the Saddle Cause, Club... Because they were sitting there asking, oh, yeah, they were, like, sitting there, um, they acted like they really needed volunteers, and they really just, and I was like, okay, I'll give you a whole group of them, you just got to come and give us a yeah. quick five-minute version, because we, like, raise money, we have the volunteers, we got the support staff. Sure. I mean, I do a lot of stuff. <laughs> Usually, if I put everything together, I can make a big deal. But they met it with our commandant, and, um... I see people up there almost every Friday night, and I don't—I know there's shows up there. I just don't know anything about them. Well, because we were—I was also going to do a thing because I saw it was pretty neat, and uh, it actually gave me the first time I had an idea to where I could do an event for my mom's thing, and I—and they were talking about belt buckles, and I was like, okay, that's doable. Just nobody ever showed up where they were supposed to. I was like, well, I guess it wasn't that important. I'm sure they were tired and they probably forgot, but. Whoever it was, they were, and they knew who, we, I mean, we told everybody, and we said, okay, if you can bring, like, huh? I bet you if you say something, they're going to be like, oh, I forgot about it. I bet you anything, you just forgot. It's the one that's been in that house, like, every day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they were all. That's like dragging up the arena and all that crap. Yep, that's who it, that's who it is. Yeah. So. I bet they just probably forgot, but. Well, and that's just what I'm saying. We could change a lot of that. What the hell is wrong with you, woman? And get more people to the shows, but also get some bigger prizes. like a big thing where they needed some you know i'm not against going yeah. to like nap eyes tight you know the people yeah. that well i'm surprised that i can always round up groups to do things and just like when it comes to kids and like some with horses and they, they're looking for a bigger crowd it's just they do no kind of publicity whatsoever yeah. i mean I'm it, it marketing's my whole thing for everything i do No, and they want to get more yeah, going, and I was like, okay, here you go. Huh? If I go online and I look up fairgrounds, there's no schedule there. Well, they were asking me how I was doing a live. I'm like, I'm doing a live with my cell phone and a camera. Really, because the guy, you know, he's like, so how much does a setup like that cost you? I'm like, price of a cell phone. He's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, this is yeah, Jimmy. I had on a tripod, and then, you know, <laughs> yeah. It was like, I, I just had my, well, I got my uh, mobile hotspot. But even in something like that, they were just like, oh, they were just, I love. I don't know, they were really great people. I just, every one of them had my business card before I left. So. Well, I'm not like I said. I'm not really on in it. I don't know anything about any of that stuff anymore. Well, they have an amazing facility at their house. And then when I first started my business, they said I needed to get in touch with them. And when I got in touch with them, they didn't do nothing anymore. Straight to me. 
Well, I say yeah. whatever you guys need, we can come up with because. Well, I would love to have a schedule. Well, those kids riding things that to give like five dollars here and there for each different event. Okay, so you put up a hundred bucks, and then you make it for like my mom died of cancer and stuff. It's like, hey, I can do something like that, and I can make it an, you know, right. if it's just something that simple. Now, if I really wanted to get serious, I guess I could call members of my family and ask them that, to get the word out. But I'm just like, uh, well. <laughs> well, I'd say I'd wait and see now that I think the season is ending. Oh, I'm not worried about it at all. I just thought they'd I come. Actually, I never thought about messaging Diane. I totally forgot that she's usually one in there. I can always message her and ask her what the schedules are because I don't even know. Right. I'm sure have kids or somebody well, there's another reason why I wanted to start working with stuff like that is the vet's home. We have an open thing. We, we can do whatever we want there now. And with all the land at the vet's home, and we were to, if we brought some stuff into there and did it there, I'd need. But they're giving us permission to do a lot of stuff there now. Oh yeah. Before it was like on lockdown at all times. I'm talking about a couple years ago. Sit back. If you want her to go slow. You gotta sit back. Now look at the next barrel now and do it tight. There you go. Squeeze, squeeze. There. That was still a little wide, but that's okay. We're in talks about bringing the Dogwood Carnival rides to the vet's home instead of on Main Street. And that's the reason why is because there's a bunch of people complained. So they acted like they lost the paperwork. No, they didn't. They had four businesses complain that didn't want them there because, oh, they're, they're, they're stopping people from coming into my business. You know, that business oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't get anybody in the first place, you know. Yeah. Good job. Right now, the vet's home, they're also getting more animals. They're getting... Uh, Mm -hmm. They're getting some brand new animals there and they're ad adding some more cages. They want to get the kids back over there. I know they're getting a couple alpacas and a couple other things. And they're actually adding brand new cages. And I think they're going to try to get a few more buffalo. A lot of people have no clue how much land that's actually there. But there's a lot. And uh, we're doing a... Uh, I'm with the park district. We're doing a cardboard boat we got in next summer there. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, yeah. And then we're part of all the car shows that are up there. Yeah. And then we're also part of the tent. <laughs> but the whole thing is, what do you do to get kids? Or, you know. Right. And they loved the idea when we had the horses in the parade this year. So I was like, okay, well, I'll get all the shade. But I'll see if she has any friends. We'll get some more horses in it. Yep. November 10th. But all those people that complained, you're not going to know it, but I'm going to stop the horses just long enough for them to take a dump right in front of their front uh, door. The way back to the dump on Main Street. That's all right. You want to know something? Nobody complained. Nobody got mad and nobody... I was sitting right next to a Corvette. Val and I were like stopped at a stoplight right next to a Corvette. My yeah. And I was like, yes. Yeah, I will... Um, I'll talk to the Battle Club. The president lives right up the road. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and like I said, they just, and like I said, Gracie's at the yeah, age right now, she loves it. it. Right, she yeah, loves it. People. If she was older or younger or wouldn't care, it wouldn't be a big deal to me. But it's like, okay, well, you know what? Why not, right? They want yeah. more kids. People in Quincy want to see more. It, you know, there's a well, there's bigger area than just the middle of Quincy. Right, but I think there's a big disruption in the process because of all the schools losing funding and places around the area losing funding. And now everybody's going, oh my gosh, what do we do with our kids? They have nothing to do but play on video games when there's so many other things they could actually be doing. And that's why I'm promoting my arena so big and trying to get it so right. quickly is because I, I've, got, I've well. got to be able to do it longer. And not have to cancel. I canceled three days of lessons this last week for the rain. Right. I mean, it was downpour. I believe it. But now my husband thinks I should buy those five acres that way and build it over there. Should. I don't know. <laughs> Long further for my electric and my water to go. Well, I'd make that my outdoor. In this what I'm saying is, you just put a well in for water. We have a well. But, I mean, you can dig another one that way you don't got to go so far, is what I'm saying. That costs more money. Yeah, sure. And you got to get the stick witch person or whatever. <laughs> 
Stick <laughs> with. I heard that a long time. <laughs> little the guy that's got the. No. Yeah, I'm not well, with all the you got little lakes and stuff all around here. Everybody, every house out in my neighborhood has a well.